Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support. And in an earlier video, we looked at how to create links from a slide deck out to a website. In this video, we're gonna look at how to create links to slides within that presentation. Now, why might you wanna do this? Well, one thought is you can have an indexed presentation. The idea being, here's the topic, click on the link and it takes you to that part of the slide. In a similar fashion, you can use this with a hyperdoc type environment where a particular concept on the homepage takes you to that part in the document without having to scroll. You can also create one of my favorite things from childhood, which are choose your own adventure stories or presentations where the participant actually gets to pick how they progress through the presentation. And finally, believe it or not, you can make games using this tool in Google Slides. So let's take a look at how this all happens. All right, so here's an example of a presentation I made for a, a teacher that was looking for their students to create a presentation on castles, but was just looking to have it be a little bit different. So we looked at this kind of choose your own adventure path. Uh, the way we did it was, uh, you know, we had a castle and then wherever you wanna look at, if maybe you wanna look and see what this one's all about, when I click on it, it takes me to a slide that's dedicated to that particular feature and gives me some information, uh, maybe a, a more close view of it or a video, something like that. And you'll notice down in the left-hand corner, there is back to castle. So I can go back to the castle and then if I wanna learn about the porticullis, I can go there. And, and that's all well and good. So how the heck did I make this happen? Well, uh, it starts with, we put a picture of a castle here and then and uh, we made a slide for each of the features that, um, that the teacher wanted to talk about, right? So like, here's one on ventilation slits and, and we put the information in and that's all well and good. Um, I just drew a circle, right? By using the shape tool and I picked a circle and let's see, that's a ventilation slit. So we'll make a circle over that, right? And I just adjusted the fill color to be whatever I felt like it wanted to be. Um, maybe a little bit there. And then it was just a matter of copy and paste. So I realized this is different. The way I get the link to happen is I wanna click on that trigger, in this case, the little circle, and you can either uh, you know, click insert and select link. You can uh, right click on the trigger. You can hit control K, but you wanna get this link up. And in the past where we put a web link in here, you'll notice on the bottom is slides in this presentation. And I'm gonna go down and find the one for the ventilation slit and say apply. And now when it's in present mode, I can go to the ventilation slit and learn more about it. So that's all awesome. Um, but there's some tips I'd like to offer when you're making one of these. So uh, right here, I'm gonna call this the keep of the castle and I don't have anything there for it yet. So. I'm gonna to go to the last slide here. I'm gonna make a new slide. One of the important things when you're, when you're making this jump slide is to title it. So I'm gonna call this the keep, right? Even if I don't have anything in there yet, it helps me get where I wanna go. Because if I go back to my castle here and I, I uh, copy that image and I paste in a circle, right here, uh, it's still set to be parapet, that's not good. So we're gonna move it here to the keep. I'm gonna tell it to change. And the reason we wanna title it is because you notice if you don't put anything in the title, it just says slide one. So by putting a title in the title area of the slide, it keeps it easier to, or it makes it easier to organize. So I can say the keep and I know that's the right slide. So that's tip number one is just adding the title in this area so that it'll show up on your list. The other one is this uh, back to castle thing. Now let's see, you know, you know that we can go to explore and we can like search castle, uh, if I spell it right, <laughs> clip art, and I can find an image that I like because these are marked for reuse. So, hey, here's one cool, not the same one I used, but it works. Um, whoa, it's big, so we'll resize it a little bit. Um, and I can certainly link to this, this image back to my first slide of the castle, and that works all well and good. Where it starts to get a little tricky, um, I guess, is if I wanted to add in some text, like maybe if I wanted to say, back to castle here, um, all of a sudden the hyperlinking gets a little complicated because am I hyperlinking the text? Am I hyperlinking um, the box? It, it's just, it gets complicated. So here's a suggestion I have, right? Make a shape and just cover that whole shape or cover the whole area that you wanna link 
And I'm gonna link this by right clicking and saying link back to the first slide, which is my castle, apply. And now just set that image to be transparent, right? So that way I, I don't have to link two things, it's just one big link here that we'll see when in present mode will send us back to the castle. So I can go to the keep, to the castle. So there you go. Um, so there is, there you go. That's how you can link within Google Slides to a specific slide in your presentation. Um, and again, this can be used for some really awesome things like choose your own adventure lessons, um, have students create choose their own adventure like fan fiction, uh, for maybe an ELA task or a hist uh, social studies task. Or like I said, quite frankly, they can make games this way by clicking on certain things to go to certain places. So hopefully you find an awesome use for this in your classroom. I would love to hear how you or your students are using this. Uh, so please feel free to reach out to me via email if uh, with any feedback you have there. If you have any questions, you can also reach me by email. Feel free to subscribe to this channel to get updates when new videos are posted. And as always, thank you for watching.